So there's this big misunderstanding about the effects of being bullied. Many people think that this is just part of childhood. It's just kids being kids and we shouldn't worry about it too much and people are just making a big deal out of it. That is absolutely false. Bullies, uh, being bullied has a huge negative impact on children and sometimes that impact follows into adulthood. Um, there are people who are on medication, who have trust issues, who cannot communicate properly with other people because they were bullied as children. So it has a very bad impact on children and it should not be tolerated and accepted like this. We have to fight against it. Uh, so in this slide, this is what I'm covering. I'm covering the effects of being bullied on children. Um, so uh, bullying research has shown that bullying does have physical, psychological, social, or even educational harms on children. Kids who are bullied are more likely to be depressed. Children who are bullied are more likely to have anxiety. Children who are bullied uh, have feelings of sadness. They have feelings of loneliness. Uh, Sometimes the uh, bullying is so severe that it actually changes their eating and sleeping patterns. Uh, so you go to the doctor and you tell the doctor, my kid doesn't sleep anymore, doesn't eat properly anymore. And the doctor says, well, you know what, he's or she is completely fine. I don't, we don't see anything physically wrong with them. We've done all the tests. And you talk to your child and he or she doesn't want to talk about it. So there might be a, that might be a, a concern that something might be happening at school. Um, uh, decreased academic performance, so kids has is getting good grades, and all of a sudden the, the grades start dropping. And you talk, you want to talk to the child, and he says, "I don't want to talk about it. I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, I don't know what's happening." But your child was always a good student, so what happened? So there might be something going on at school. Loss of interest in activity they used to enjoy. So your kid says, "Oh, I want to play soccer. I want to play soccer." You you put them on the soccer team. Two weeks later, I hate soccer. I hate soccer. I never want to go back again. Why? What happened? I don't want to talk about it. Well, something may have happened on the field. Uh, so these are certain signs that parents can pick up uh, to see if the child is being bullied or not. Now, there's a very small percentage, not a large one, very small percentage of kids who are bullied, they retaliate through violence. So they're bullied for a while, they go home, they get a gun, they come to school, and they start shooting everyone. So this is a very small percentage. Most kids who are bullied do not go to this level. They just take the bullying. Um, but uh, a small portion does retaliate through extreme violence. And if I remember correctly, par uh, the Parkland shooting in tech that we had in Florida and the Columbine, the very popular one, um, those kids were very well known to be bullied in school and, and some of the other school shootings as well. So this idea that bullying doesn't have any impact on kids, this is completely false. And we need to fight against this misconception and we need to realize that it does have a very negative impact on kids. Bullying is a form of trauma, emotional and psychological trauma on a child. So of course it will have impacts on the child. Um, and like I said earlier, uh, sometimes the impact even follows them through into adulthood. So they, they have trust issues, they have communication issues. Uh, sometimes they have to take medication because they, ha they have like illnesses because of it. A mental or psychological illnesses because of it. So it's something that we need to we need to take as very seriously and not uh, treat it like it's nothing.